thumbs up. Awesome! I'm so glad to see you because all month long we're talking about how much Jesus loves us. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? It's true, Jesus is the best friend ever and His love for us is higher, wider, deeper, and longer than anything. That's our memory verse for the month. Let's say it together. How wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Last week it was Easter. And do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But three days later, Jesus came back. It's such good news. Jesus is alive. And one of the things he wanted to do was to spend time with his friends. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. We'll hear what Jesus made for a picnic with his friends. Do you want to know what they had for picnic? Let's go to the clubhouse and hear all about it. I know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance. He's the reason my feet are moving. He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap, clap, clap to the sound. Jump, jump up and down. Spin, spin, spin all around. I'm singing. The very best friend 
Hello friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Kai, and I'm so excited to see you today. This is going to be the best day ever. I have a brand new kite, just like my friend Zoe. We're going to meet some of our friends at the park today and fly kites together. I'm going to surprise them with a picnic. I packed all our favorite foods. I can just imagine how much fun it's going to be. I've got ham sandwiches. I like mine with mustard. I've got apple slices. Zoe likes the green ones the best. Oh, and I can't forget Miss Kathy Sue sugar cookies. She always shares with us when she bakes. She's such a good friend. In juice boxes, because flying kites makes you thirsty. I can't wait to get to the park. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Kai. Who? Who? Have a fun day plan, do you? Hi, Ollie. I sure do. Flying kites and having a picnic is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. Being with friends is fun. It's true. I have just the story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> They're my banana chocolate chip breakfast cupcakes because sometimes you can't wait for dessert. But you didn't come here for that. You came for the story and guess what? It's about breakfast too. So if you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No! <laughs> Jesus came back just like he said he would. It was such good news. Jesus is alive! <laughs> and one of the things he wanted to do was spend time with his friends. Now do this with me. <gasps> what do you think we're doing? Are we throwing a shoe? <laughs> no! What are we doing? <gasps> we're fishing! That's right! And that's what Jesus' friends were doing. They were in a boat fishing early in the morning when all of a sudden, look, <laughs> who is that standing on the shore? Yes, it's Jesus. Jesus is alive. His friends were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. <laughs> Good job. In fact, Peter was so excited that he jumped in the water to swim to Jesus. Let's pretend to swim to Jesus. Ready? <laughs> Very good. You can stop swimming now. We made it. And when they got to shore, Jesus was cooking breakfast. So they all sat and had breakfast with their best friend, Jesus. Jesus is alive. <laughs> he loved them so much and wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too forever and ever. How awesome is that? Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus spent time with his friends on the beach. 
Jesus is the best friend of all. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, what a great story. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends. Jesus is the best friend anyone could ever have. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't wait to hang out with my friends today, and I'm going to make sure and tell them all about how Jesus is the best friend ever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. When Jesus went away and came back, one of the things he really wanted to do was to spend time with his friends. Today's Bible story was about how Jesus made breakfast for his friends. Jesus wanted his friends to know that he is alive and wants to be their friend forever. Jesus loves all his friends more than we can ever imagine. That's why our Bible verse says, how wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Jesus is alive and Jesus loved his friends so much. He wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend forever too. Jesus' love is so big that we can't even measure how wide, how long, how deep, and how high it is. Let's thank God for Jesus. Let's talk to God right now. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. He's the best friend ever. Thank you for the Bible and all the true stories that teach us how great a friend Jesus is. We're so happy that Jesus is alive and we thank you, Jesus, for doing exactly what you promised. You said you would come back and you did. You are the best friend ever. Thank you for loving us. I pray that each child here today will follow Jesus so he can be their friend forever too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm so happy to know that Jesus loves us and it's so fun to be learning God's story together. Come back next week to hear another true story from the Bible. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.